What's going on guys? And for the win here, we are back with our franchise mode as the New York Rangers. And uh, we're picking up where we left off here. Had a great beginning to the season. Fell down a little bit in that second month, but we still are first in the division uh, by one point. And we have a 15-7-1 and one record. Suffered three different injuries in the uh, first part of the season, but our entire team is back now. And uh, we should be uh, should be in a good spot. Our second line's doing well. First line's doing well, of course. If our defense and goaltending can uh, can shape up just a little bit, we'll we'll really be in good shape. And I think it can now that Schlemko should be back, hopefully getting a few more starts. Because Manning's not doing incredible. He's getting wins, but not doing incredible. So, yeah. All right. So we're going to keep going here. I'll keep an eye close on everything. I want to make sure the second line maintains, or at least, you know, keeps up they're scoring not I don't know if they'll be able to maintain the pace that they're on if they can that's great but if they can't then they can't and then hopefully our defense and stuff can uh, sort of improve here so we're gonna go month by month here hopefully not have to do too many injuries but that might be the case all right so here we go good sharks still not doing too good so we beat them Nice easy points right there. I want to see our goals for stay up and uh, hopefully our goals against get better. Check out what's around the draft class. All right. Couple maybes there. How about those low? Yeah, we already got two of those guys sorted. One's a late first. One's a uh, off the board seven. Well, not even a seven. He's just off the board completely. Okay. Oh my goodness. Another win. Nice overtime victory. Calgary, very similar to record to us. And we beat them too. So, allowing a couple goals here and there. Uh, another injury. That's VC. All right. Now, I'll probably still put Gore in there because I don't want him to be horribly demoralized. Yeah. 83. I also don't want him to get too much better than this. <laughs> yeah, but I should still put him in so he doesn't get terribly demoralized or get stat minuses or anything. Yeah, let's put him in there. Nice. Oh my goodness. Have not lost yet in this month. Another win in overtime. Clutch. Yeah, we're looking real good. Now Mark... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, we've been getting a lot of injuries lately. Alright, now Reader's in there. Uh, No, we don't need Terry. Not opposed to giving up my first, but we don't need that guy. Holy hell. I don't, I don't know how many games we won at the end of last month. We might be on a really good uh, tear right now. Hey, Reader. One goal plus two in one game played. Not bad. Good job, Toby. All right, get VC back in there. Gore is injured to like, what, the 25th or something like that? Yeah. So he'll be back. Not that we'll need him. We still have not lost in this month. December is being very good to us. Holy crap, we still haven't lost. What is even happening? Uh, goaltending looks really good. Look at the ones and zeros that we've had and, and, a, and a two in there. Yeah, a couple threes, but that's going to happen. Our defense and goaltending has been just fantastic. Oh, five. oh, and then we lose the last two games of the month. God damn it. Okay. Well, still, I got to check how long that streak was because I know it started in the previous month. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six on Minnesota. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> A 15 game winning streak. We're now 27, 9, and 1. HL team didn't do too bad in that stretch either. Five, oh, wow. We're only five points in first, though. Looks like New Jersey had a hell of a good stretch as well. 
I mean, I say only five points in first is a pretty good margin at only 37 games into the season. And I really want to see if that, I think that goals against went down a huge chunk. I mean, those last two games would have hurt it a bit, but still, yeah, holy. So here we are, 3.51 goals for per game, 2.35 goals for per game. Our power play is still above 30%, which is unheard of. We're not getting a lot of chances, but man, are we capitalizing on them. Penalty kills, 87.9%. This is great. We do we take the most amount of penalties in our division, though. 15-6-0 on home ice, 12-3-1 on the road, 8-2 in the last 10. Just had to lose those last two games. <laughs> not that I matter to not that I mind too much. That is still a ridiculous stretch. I mean a 15 game win streak. Who even complains about that? All right, so Hughes with 42 points in 37 games played. Byfield is 39. Line A point a game with 37. Andronov has 32. Leah Anderson with 30. Morgan Eichel with 29. Niederreiter with 26. Andronov's killing it. It's a lot, probably a lot to do with the power play extra time that he's on, but he's only got three more points than Eichel and Andronov, so you subtract three. Is that, yeah, he's right with him if you subtract. And they're, they're on really good pace. Kravtsov... Nine goals, 15 points total. Now, it was suggested that I try Allen in up there instead of him, and I might just do that. Yeah, he's got that third line uh, third line now. And Kravtsov isn't doing as good as he has uh, in the past on that third line, so I might actually just try Allen in. Heedle... The only, the only problem is Allenden doesn't look like a goal scorer, at least where he is right now. 58 shots and that many games played. It's not looking good. Better pace than Chistov. Though Niederreiter isn't taking a whole hell of a lot of shots with more ice time. I, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try just to see what happens on that third line. I want to try it for like a month. Anyway, Shea has 22 points, all assists. Hayskin in with 13, or sorry, 17. Everyone's a plus besides our depth. Grantham's got five assists. I don't have him on the power play. I was considering putting him on the power play, but Shea's doing really good. And our power play in general is doing good, so I don't, I don't even honestly even want to touch it. Has Manning even played? I actually don't think Manning has played since we last checked. Pretty sure this is what he had before. That's interesting. Five shutouts for Schlemko. Jesus. I'm going to check my settings to make sure it's not messed up, but I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be because why Why would it be? They they were switching before, but that's kind of interesting. There was There's a few back-to-backs in that stretch, so I'm going to just check to make sure because that's weird. Yeah, rotate goalies is on. Interesting. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe he only played six. and No, I'm, I know he had six wins, right? Because he had 12 points. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Well, he'll get some more games played in here, I hope. Yeah, that is interesting. Uh, I can't really say much. I mean, we just... We're on a tear right now, and I don't want to change anything. We had a couple L's recently on those back-to-backs, but... We're doing, still doing really well. So we're going to sim up to January now. Hopefully Manning gets some games played in here because Schlemko needs a break. There we go. Nice win right there and a shootout. Good defensive game, only allowing two goals there. All right, allowed two there, but couldn't get the offense going. Okay, back to back. Give Manning one of these. Come on. Nice win right there. Another nice win. Goodness. Wow. Offense is clicking right now. This is this is what it looks like to have two lines doing really well, plus a third who's doing good. That's what kind of production we're getting. Because if we do allow three goals, I mean, we're scoring five, six, seven in a lot of these. Which is huge. Ooh, Jilson, sore hip. Uh, the 27th, that's not too long. But, 
He's still out. We're going to stick Varnarks in there for everything. All right, two losses in a row right there. Not amazing, but whatever. We're winning so much that we can afford little things like that for sure. All right, still not much in the medium elite. Oh my God, we're getting so many low elites scouted. Look at that, a lot of uh, late first and then into the early seconds for the low elites. This guy might even be one too. So I'm not too sure what that means for this draft, whether it's going to be uh, deep or is that not so deep? Low elites, I don't know. I usually judge it by trade value of things appearing. All right, Jilson's back. Good, we needed him. Or need him, singular. I didn't uh, put in, I didn't switch the freaking guys, so I'll do that probably next month. <laughs> I didn't switch Kravtsov and Alanen, which I meant to do. You know what, I'll do that right now. Let's try it out. Alanen's at 14 points in 47 games played. Okay, let's remember that. I won't, I won't really check him after this one because, well, <laughs> it's not going to have make too much of a difference in these three games I don't think but I do want to try him on that third line Kravtsov still got the power play time so it should be okay 35 13 and 1 here going into the month of February only a three point lead New Jersey's keeping pace but after that it drops off Philly's 10 points behind New Jersey so while the division is good the, the top of it is just so inflated besides Chicago. But they're also the only good team. We got two real pretty good teams up here. All right, so beware of New Jersey. They're looking like a really good team. 3.43 goals for, 2.39 goals against. Power play, ooh, dropped down to 27. But I was unlikely to maintain what it was at. Penalty kill dropped a tiny bit, but it's over 85%, which is great. 21 and 8 on home, 14, 5 and 1 on the road, 7, 3 and 0 oh in the last 10. Our ratio is definitely the best in the division. Our goals against is second best. Looking solid though. Real good. Okay, so there's Hughes, 53 points, 49 games played. Byfield and Line A both with 49 points point a game. Andronov, 40 points in 49 games played. He's keeping a remarkable pace. Leas Anderson has 38 and 49. Eichel with 37. Niederreiter only with 33. Let's see. He's got we got 33 games remaining. And he needs 17 points. Yeah, he's he should get 50 for sure. Kravtsov's now got 23 points. Oh, he actually had a pretty damn good stretch right there. Now I've moved him off, but I want to try Allen in there. He was at... I forgot. I don't think he got a single point in that stretch. Wasn't he at 14 and 43 or something like that? Yeah. I'm going to try it out still. See how we do. If I don't like it, then I'll definitely move it back. Oh, Haskinen just passed up Shea in points. <laughs> out of nowhere. Okay. Ooh, Shea's plus minus is not very good. It's because he's got Von Arks in there. Every time Von Arks has stepped in, he hasn't done too well. So Manning. Still not a good... Uh, stats. <laughs> but Shlemko is doing crazy good still. I mean, he will definitely have a shot at the Vesna if he can maintain this. Most definitely. All right, I'm going to continue here. I'm going to keep Allen in up there. I'm only going to go half this month, though. So he's got 14 points right now. Out does Allen in. So I'm going to go. we got 13 games, so let's do six. I might do seven. We'll see. I want to see how the team does, see how Allenen does on the third line. And I want to see if he can actually 
help that third line, help the team in general, and Kravtsov can play fourth while getting power play time. Mm. I can definitely afford to move prospects, but is this guy someone that I really want? Probably not. Not really by the looks of it. All right, New York, let's do it. Another nice win. So we're getting no less than three goals for. Don't need them. We already got two depth guys up here anyway. And we got plenty of guys we can call up from the AHL as well. Wow. All right, do I, I'll give him one more game here. I want to get a good idea of what Allen and brings to the table. Whew. Another win. 41, 14, and 1. Let's check in on that. So he is at 14 points in 49 games played. And now he's at 20 points. So we got six points in those seven games. That's really good. I'll keep him on for a bit longer. Yeah. You got two goals and four assists in that stretch. I'll definitely keep him on for longer. Looks like his shot started. Mm, uh, hard to say. I don't know. Anyway, hopefully Kravtsov's not going to get demoralized. He's not, and he's liking his performance still. So cool. Now we have like triple scoring line and then a fourth line who can put up points. But they're definitely more defensive biased. Yep. All right, yeah, I'm going to leave it. Let's get up to the trade deadline here. And from there, we'll be able to see if we want to pick up some sort of rental. Which we might. I don't know if we will, but we might. I have to kind of consider what our chances are here. I can't really think of a spot that needs help on this team, though, really. The only person I've never been 100% satisfied with is Heedle. But he's been better of late on that third line playing on the wing instead of centering the fourth line like he was in the past. He was just always kind of consistently a minus. If that's kind of gone now, then great. Max Jones, no. Okay, man. Always seems to go wicked slow when you want it to sim fast. <laughs> man. Another month where we only lose one? Well, two, sorry. But still. My goodness, this team just steamrolling the opposition look at Hartford too they were actually close to 500 at the beginning of this year they're now 40 17 and 5 they've had a tremendous stretch as well so trade deadline is the next thing on the docket here we're 46 15 and 1 which is kind of a ridiculous got five point lead on first place now and then what do we have a 16 point total lead on third place yeah there's zero chance we're dropping out of the playoff race. Absolutely none. 3.5 goals for. We've maintained around 3.5 all year, which is what we can be able to do with the lineups that we have, and that's what I've been looking for. Goals against 2.32. I mean, our the differential is, is greater than one whole goal, and that is really good. I mean, that's really good. I actually want to compare us to the entire league. Because that's going to be really... I think we got first place here in the entire league. So we're the best goals for team. And we're the best goals against team. Power play. Uh, third in power play. Okay. Would have been first if we maintained that other thing. <laughs> and our penalty kill is the top penalty kill. So special teams, third and first. Goals for, goals against ratios are both first. 
I mean, we're in great shape. 23-8-0 on home ice, 23-7-1 on the road, 9-1 in the last 10. I mean, we're the hottest team in the NHL. It's been like that all year. And we're five points behind, uh, ahead of the two other teams closest to us. Yeah, we're really, really in good shape. But regular season's one thing. We've had three, was it three playoffs that we've, we got kicked out first round in a row? I think so. <laughs> All right, that's a huge 66 points in 62 games played. 61-61 for Byfield and Line A. Andronov is 52 points, so he's already, he's going to have a career high easily. I mean, he's already passing his, almost passing his top career numbers. <laughs> His career high right now is 56 points. He's probably going to pass his career high in both goals and everything, goals, assists, and points. Maybe not plus minus, but... Yeah, just a huge, huge bounce back year for Andronov here. Ugh, but last year, he was dealing with injury all year. That's his excuse. Elias Anderson probably going to have yet another... Well, I mean, he's going to have another 50-point season. 44 points total. 35 assists, 15 assists, or 14 assists on the power play. Morgan Eichel going to be a 30-goal man, which is his first time in his career that he'll hit that. Yep, first time in his career. He's already passed his uh, his career high, high goal total for one season. Like He's going to pass that point total as well. He's never been a 50-point guy, but he's about to be. He only needs 70 point, more points. Great numbers from him. Niederreiter should be a 20-goal man. 20 games to get 11 points. Might be able to get that. Kravtsov's still doing really well. There's Allen in 23. I mean, he's making his way up. He should be a 30-point scorer now with that third line time. Kravtsov's going to be a 40-point scorer. Likely not 50, but he should be a 20-goal scorer, 40-point guy, which is... You can just see the depth that we have on this team. We're going to have six 50-point scores at least. Maybe seven or eight. And this is just forwards, actually. But we're not going to have any amazing for defense. Uh, we might have one of them be a 50-point guy. Probably not, though. No. Any 15 points, 20 games. But they should both be 40-point dudes, I think. Plus minuses are great. Goaltenders. All right, so Manning got a bit better here. He's got 22 points in 14 games played. Like, that's what I'm mainly concerned about. He's winning this games. And Schlemko is doing wicked good with his personal stats, shutouts, his record, everything. We do have a great team, but it does. it's going to take some great goaltending. Yeah, this is his last year. I need, I need to check out what the heck I can sign him for. That's another thing I need to do. First things first, I'm going to check out progress reports. And we're going to do some extensions. Also going to check out, I don't know if we even need, need to check per trade possibilities, but I'll, I'll shop around and kind of brainstorm what you guys think we might need or what we actually might need. Yeah, what's his, oh, Grantham had, did grow a tiny bit. Uh, deking, hand-eye passing, and puck control, and that's it, I think, yep. But a little bit of growth. Manning grew a tiny amount, too, by the looks of it. Yep. Okay, let's check our system. That's looking like a lot of growth. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we do have weight like so many elites because we've drafted pretty strong after I mean what eight years that we are that we're on now okay that was good <laughs> uh what was I gonna do oh yeah I need to check out some expiring contracts here we're gonna want to lock in who we can line a is gonna need an extension let's see what he's after he does want an extension, which is very good. Oh, my God. He doesn't even want much. We're going to be able to get him for cheaper. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, we can get him for uh, 10.6. So that's an obvious yes. Just takes him up till he's 32. 
Let's see what five. Does five years line him up with anyone? One, two, three, four. Mm, that's only three. Byfield, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, to line him up with Byfield. It's okay, not bad. Yeah, five year extension for 10 6. All right, let's do that. Uh, Andronov does not want an extension. That is highly unfortunate. That's ridiculous. Of course, it's because yeah, it's, it's he's also on contract here, so let's bear that in mind. I mean, we could we can retain the dude, so he's not gonna get away. Yeah, he's not gonna get away. So we have that on our side. I'm not going to offer him anything yet. Leah Sanderson and Heedle both want extensions. Leah Sanderson for sure. Yeah, that's not too bad for what he does. <laughs> not bad at all. Yeah, he wants a 3.25 extension for two years. It's a ridiculous contract. All right, Heedle is probably going to want more. Oh, wow. No, get out. I'm not signing you that. I'll wait. He'll, he'll, he'll want less later. Oh, interesting. Shistov doesn't want an extension. What? This is your first... You're coming off entry level. What the f hell do you not want an extension for? We can afford it, so I'll give it to you, but what the heck? I really like you. Gore. He's coming off that entry level, so we should be getting him for really... Well, not really, really cheap, but cheap enough. And I do still like him. I do still have uh, some places he can go. So I want to extend him. VC. Don't know about him yet. Reader. Oh, he's he's done. <laughs> so he actually did decline at some point. All right, this is the one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Only wants a one-year extension at a really ridiculous amount. I could wait for that to change, but that ain't going to change. Hmm. I might just have to give him the one year, but I can wait and see if he wants something else, if that'll change. I mean, I'll keep an eye on that probably in the next video. Go like a little bit at a time, see if that extension will change. I'll do the same in the off season, just because I want to try to get him more years. But yeah, he is going to want a lot, but I'm hoping to get him to a more reasonable contract. We're saving a lot of uh, we're saving a lot of money in a lot of different areas, which is good. Andernov might be tricky. But if we if we uh, tender him and he still doesn't want an extension at any point, if we tender him and then sign him in normal free agency, uh, it'll be a lot better. I mean, well, depending. He'll probably want a decent chunk of cash. So I'm hoping for that extension thing to change. Because if we sign him right now, it's a bit too much. If we're trying to, well... I don't know how much less I can get him for. Byfield had an amazing has an amazing contract. I don't even know how I did that, but yeah. We got a lot of guys on good deals, so we are gonna be able to save money here and there, but it is gonna be a little bit difficult. Alright, so let's see here now. we were to make some kind of move where where is it and what is it only thing I'd think of was maybe something to the second line maybe we wanted an upgrade on Niederreiter for the playoffs but that also worries me a bit you know somehow then not being good enough they got Crosby on the block now. Well, yeah, well, you extended him, you idiots. I would have taken him off your hands last year, but you extended him. 
I'm trying to just see if anything catches my eye on the screen, but probably not, so... Have to actually look. I mean, you got Raquel there. I just don't know if we're going to find anyone who's better than what we got, besides like a Wallstrom, who is on the last year of his contract, who does take a lot of shots, well, should. It's listed as first line, though. Yeah, he takes a lot of shots. 46 points in 62 games played. He's most likely playing second line. Uh, maybe even third. No, he's got to be... Yeah, he's probably playing on opposite side or something. So, though, at least we know where he's playing on the second line, and we see he's got 46 points in 62 games played. More than Niederreiter. So, I mean, that's an option if we want to go over the top for it. It could help us long term. We can get him for a brief amount of time after that. We are kind of seeing about Allen in. We don't know for sure what he'll be like. But that's kind of all I could think of that we would ever need. And unless it's a really good upgrade that fits a huge amount, then I don't really want to do it. That's another one year, but he doesn't seem to be as much of a scorer. Definitely doesn't take a lot of shots. Nope. Prospects. Larkin, not really. Nope. No one really there. Look how many centers they had, Jesus. <laughs> Her entire team is like centers. Head jumps on a one year. Ooh. But probably first line, yeah. Second power play, but first line. Eh, yeah, not much. So, if we were to make a trade, Wallstrom would be the one I'd go for. But is that trading just for the sake of trading? Or can he really help us? And can he give us that push? That's that's what we have to really think about is will he be better than a Nita Rider in the playoffs too? And will he will that second line be able to get point, good good amount of points scoring? Cause I'm not seeing a whole hell of a lot more. There's Howden. Yeah, too bad you want to give him up. Shouldn't have signed with that stupid deal. All right, last team. Yeah, that's that's it. So really, only one I could see who'd be an upgrade, who would work on our second line, was Wallstrom. He could also work longer term, a bit longer at least, if we wanted to. If we got him, we have to see what the heck we could even extend him for. And then really decide from there. So we still got Allen in. And he's looking like he'll be pretty good. 2883, I don't know about shooting and how much of a shooter he'll be. But Andronov's had a kind of a hybrid year there. Eichel, of course, a complete goal scorer. Yeah, Niederreiter had a bit of a hybrid year, too. Hard to say. It's, it's kind of hard to say. But that's an option. However, is it an option that we want to pursue? Do we want to mess with something that's working right now on this third line? Although he's the least amount of points. He's the guy with the least amount of points on that line. Ten points coming from the power play. A lot more points, Andronov and Eichel too. Not much more for Eichel. Damn, dude. Five game winners out of 28 goals. Really good. Yeah, so, I don't know. Is that a move we make? Our team would be ridiculously stacked, ridiculously stacked if we did make that move. There's no question about it. I mean, 
That would be one of the most stacked teams I've ever had if we did that. <laughs> For sure. So, I mean, it's definitely an option. We definitely have the assets to do it. I would give him probably Niederreiter as well in that deal. Well, obviously, Niederreiter and then probably a prospect, probably an elite prospect. Just go over the top and grab him because we'll have to. They don't want to give him up anyway. And I'll just make it semi-realistic-ish. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think uh, we sort of have a, a game plan here for the trade deadline if we are to make a move. So I'll definitely need you guys help uh, help to decide if we do want to make that move. But we're 46-15-1 with the best goals against in the league and the best goals against in the league. Third best power play and the top penalty kill of the league. So, I mean, we're just we're really getting the job done here. But I'm thinking about the playoffs. We've had great seasons time and time again. Do we need... A guy like Wallstrom to push us over the top. Do we need someone else on that line shooting a bunch? Maybe. Maybe we just want to pepper the opposition with shots, in which case having Eichel and Wallstrom on that line will be huge. And then that first line, of course, having Hughes on that line. Line A takes a decent chunk of shots as well. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're what we're thinking of. What do we want to do? All right, guys, so let me know about all that kind of stuff, especially the uh, trade options here. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow, and you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.